Question 4. Find the distance of the origin from each of the following planes. Um, they are similar, so I don't think I want to deal with question 4b because this plane is essentially r dot 1 minus 2 0 equals to 3. So this one you can do it yourself because if I can, you can understand, you can understand 4a, then 4b you can do it on your own. Answer is just given. Okay, quick one. Now there are two ways to do this. One is to deal with origin just as a point, any point, don't treat origin as anything special, all right? Just have the point O, 0, 0, 0, and you basically you want to find the shortest distance between the point um, O and the plane where this plane is R dot 1 to 1 equals to minus 1. Yes? So you treat, treat this no differently. Okay, treat this as O, treat this if you, even if it's 1, 2, 3, it's the same method. How do we do this? We will say, okay, let us have a point A that lies on the plane. Let's call this point, let's have this point A. It can be, say, for example, minus 1, 0, 0. But you can think of a lot of other points that lie on the plane, right? Instead of minus 1, 0, 0, you can have 0, 0, minus 1. Agree? As long as it satisfies the equation. So, doesn't matter. So, now I have OA. Okay, OA is minus 1, 0, 0. So, I have OA is minus 1, 0, 0. Now, in order to find the shortest distance OF, okay, in order to find the shortest distance OF, I will take OA, project onto the unit vector of the normal. Yes, I will get OA dot n hat. Yes, then you will get a mod minus 1, 0, 0, dot 1 over root 6, 1, 2, 1. In the end, you get a 1 over root 6. It's simple. Now, I will, there is another way. If you have done it another way, you have looked at the lecture notes, that actually is a very quick way. To find the distance between the origin and the plane, it has been shown that it can be easily for r dot n equals to p, sorry, equals to p, then the distance from O to the plane is actually mod p over mod n which is in this case mod negative 1 over mod 1 to 1 which is root 6 therefore is 1 over root 6 now this is so called a formula i think you should go back to the notes to refer to the proof all right excuse me refer to the proof uh, and uh, you can do this but I will refer to it I will refer to this again in question 8 so I give you some time now you can do 4b on your own thank you